Welcome to the Thursday, April 10th, 2014 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's show, we recap and analyze the USDA's pork and grain forecast from their April estimates report. But first, a major Chinese seafood company has inked importing agreements with two top North American distributors. Here with the details is your host, Jamie Chadwick. Zhang Zidao Fishery Group, China's largest scallop producer, stepped up its efforts to import more product from North America after it struck deals with Pacific Seafoods and Clearwater. Under the strategic agreements that were made during last month's expo in Boston, Pacific Seafoods will provide Dungeness crab shipments to Zhang Zidao, while Clearwater will export lobster to the Chinese company. Sources said Zhang Zidao had been seeking more crab and lobster sources to satisfy very strong demand among Chinese consumers. For more details on this story and for other seafood company headlines, head over to seafoodnews.com. In other news, pork output was revised downwards in the USDA's April World Supply and Demand Report. Here is pork market reporter Russell Barton with the details. The USDA's April edition of the World Supply and Demand Report downwardly adjusted 2014 forecasts for pork output by 600 million pounds, or nearly 2.6 percent, due mainly to the loss of pigs from the porcine epidemic diarrhea virus. An earlier analysis from Erna Barry's Newswire, Kurt Thacker, said last month's production forecast was considered overstated and could be 1 billion pounds too high. Thacker pointed out the April revision took 60 percent of that estimation out of this equation and the industry is still on track for the billion pound shortfall. Meanwhile, hog price forecasts for 2014 reacted to the news and were raised to $72 to $75 per hundredweight live from $65 to $69 the previous month. Thacker said the adjustment swings the 2014 pork output forecast to 1.9% below a year ago compared with the forecast in March, which was up about 0.7% from 2013. Thanks, Russell. We stay with data released from the USDA, but with a look at crop production export figures. Here to wrap up today's show with the details is Erner Berry Newswire staff writer Michael Ramsing. In its latest WASI report, the USDA reduced U.S. feed grain ending stocks for 2013 and 14 on a projected increase of corn exports. The report projected an increase of corn exports by 125 million bushels, supported by strong export sales and increased global corn demand. At the same time, the April crop production report found that unfavorable March weather conditions across much of the U.S. hindered some corn plantings in Florida and the Deep South. Plantings in Mississippi, Texas, and Arkansas were below the five-year averages, according to the USDA. Meanwhile, U.S. wheat ending stocks are projected 25 million bushels higher, with lower imports more than offset by a 30 million bushel reduction in feed and residual use. Finally, U.S. soybean supplies are projected at 3.49 billion bushels, up 30 million on increased imports. Subscribers should check out the news link under any of the protein tabs in Comtel for more grain coverage. Thanks, Michael. That concludes our program. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.